Welcome back to Andrea Jean Cleaning. Today we are going to be cleaning my stove top grates here. Look at this. That's disgusting. If you missed any of my last videos, I actually showed you how to clean your stove top with hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, and Dawn. So I will have that video linked in the description box below if you're looking for ways to do that. It's all about the oven these days. But look at how dirty these are. This was like this when we moved in two years ago, and I just haven't taken the time to really scrub and that sort of thing because you know i got three kids one on the way priorities right <laughs> so let me show you the things that we're going to be working with here so over here i just bought this at the dollar tree i got some ammonia with lemon so we're going to compare here whether the ammonia works better or the white vinegar works better so half of the oven rack i will do with ammonia and the other half here i'm going to be doing with vinegar and we're going to get it all set up here and then let it sit overnight um, i know many of you have smaller racks where you could use ziploc bags to put them in mine are very large as you can see here so what i'm going to be using are these trash bags so one for vinegar one for the ammonia i got some gloves here just to protect my hands and that sort of thing um, when we're done we're just going to wipe everything down tomorrow morning with these little pads here. I just picked those up at the Dollar Tree as well. I got a little marker here so that I could put uh, ammonia in one bottle and then vinegar in the other. And I'll just write it here so that I can differentiate. So these are the supplies that we are gonna be working with here. Super cheap, you probably have a lot of these things laying around your home already. And let's just see which product works better for getting these nice and shiny and see if we can get them looking like, well, like this one right here. That would be nice, huh? All right. Let's get it prepped. And make sure you stay until the end because we do have a special surprise. We have a product that I have not yet shown here that actually does a better job. My mother-in-law makes a very brief appearance as well. And my husband chips in because we are all about teamwork over here. Now I did look up whether ammonia was harmful during pregnancy and there was nothing to indicate otherwise. I just try not to inhale it deeply or you know keep the bag open that long. Um, the smell isn't too terrible. I'll talk about that here very briefly um, but there's nothing to indicate that i could not be around ammonia now you could use a funnel if you are well equipped to have one i didn't have one but i got pretty lucky here by just pouring it directly into these spray bottles now i wanted to be sure to get the solution very liberally all over each of the grates so you're going to see me spray here i want to make sure that they were soaking really good if you are looking for some additional motivation when it comes to cleaning, I have a whole video dedicated to cleaning grout. I do three experiments and I show you the best and fastest way to do that. I also have a video related to mattress cleaning to freshen up and deodorize your mattress and tons of videos related to other household cleaning oven racks, killing germs during the, the reign of the COVID virus right now. So all of that's going to be linked in the description box below. Okay, got the grates all in their perspective bags. We have the ammonia one here. And then over here, we got the vinegar one. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set these in my garage overnight. And I'll meet you back here in the morning to see how everything turned out. Now to spice things up, I'm gonna try a little experiment here. I'm gonna spray some of this ammonia directly on some of these stubborn spots and see how it does. So I'm just gonna let this sit for a little bit and see if that's gonna help me get these last bit of grease stains up. If you watched that last video, you'll see how I was really able to get some of this up. We got some hard um, stuck on stuff here. But if you look over here, this is the ammonia with lemon, but it says that you can use it on tubs, showers, stalls, sinks and toilets, stove tops, countertops, cabinets, sinks, appliances, cleans walls, trash cans, woodwork, doorknobs, and furniture. And to be honest, I'm not hating the smell of this. I know that's a little bit crazy. I don't know if it kind of has the lemon zest to it, but let's just let this sit for, it's 218 now. Um, let's let it sit till like 230 and then we'll see if we can get this up. It is 230 now. So let's go ahead and see where we are at here. I'm just using this Dollar Tree brush.
Okay, so that got a little bit of this crease up, but not any of these big ones right here. So still working on finding a solution that's not going to scratch up my surface, uh, my, stove, my stove top surface here. So that's a little bit of a bummer. Maybe if I had left it on there longer, but um, we'll see. Now it's the next day. It's actually been over 24 hours, so these babies have been soaking good. We got the ammonia rack here they're great and then back there i have the vinegar one now i'm just gonna go ahead and grab some of my gloves here and let's see what happens So this rack, this grate is the one that was covered in the ammonia and you saw in the beginning clips how I made sure that it was completely doused in there and it was sitting on a long time. Now it is coming off but the really burnt in stuff that I was hoping for is not and I'm using both sides of the sponge here. I'm using the more smooth side and the coarse side. And to be honest, I'm not super impressed. I have watched videos on this and it just melted away, but maybe it's just my racks. Maybe it was just the video. I'm not sure what the problem is, but I'm not super impressed. But we're gonna take a moment here and really scan the rack to see how much of a difference it made. And then we will move on to the vinegar. Let's see how the vinegar fared here. Still seeing a ton of burnt on grease. So yeah, not super impressed with the vinegar either. Let's do a side by side. We got the vinegar on the right and we got the ammonia on the left. And it still doesn't look great. I mean, it's maybe a tad bit better, maybe like 10% better, but that's about it to say I was very disappointed. So my mother-in-law was over visiting and she said, well, let's just try a little baking soda to add some coarseness and let's get some really good elbow grease going here. So she scrubbed and she scrubbed and she scrubbed and what we found here, this worked better than the ammonia and the vinegar. My husband also got into this here. He took a stab at it and you're going to see here in the next couple of clips that he put some elbow grease in as well and I'll show you a final product here in a second. And be sure that you check out those additional videos in the description box as well for all your cleaning motivation. I do upload on a weekly basis, sometimes bi-weekly here. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you are new. But you can see here my husband was working away on this super fast time lapse. But let's see what the result was. So it's looking a lot better and he just did the left side here, he left the right side, but that took over 40 minutes for him to do that with the baking soda and the elbow grease. So it did make a difference. A lot of this is contingent upon how much time you want to put into it, but good old baking soda.